Hello everyone. In our second episode of Emacs tutorial for beginners, we're going to cover the buffer management commands and the search commands. We're going to also look at grep and rgrep, which is recursive grep um, modes in Emacs, which are fantastic if you're looking for uh, a pattern in a bunch of files using Emacs. Let's get going. <laughs> Let's start with the buffer management commands. Emacs has a bunch of buffers open all at the same time, which can be saved as files. Control, you can use Control XP to switch between these buffers. And the default buffer is scratch. So I just hit Control XP and hit enter. So it went to scratch buffer. This is where you can write a lisp, elisp command and um, evaluate them. Let's go back. I hit Control XP again and hit enter. Um, so Control X, Control B switches buffers but it shows you the list of buffers that are open at the same time um, as you can see uh, there's three buffers open um, the temp2 cpp that's the file i'm editing right now uh, scratch buffer that we just saw and messages buffer control x all will go to the other window and if we hit enter on that buffer we switch to that buffer as you noticed we switched to that buffer but we switched it in the new window we're in um, we can close this new window by hitting Control X zero, and then we will go back to our previous window, the full screen window. Control X one, on the other hand, will make the window we're in into a full page window. Control X two will divide the window we're in into two, but it will be a horizontal cut. Control X three will make it a vertical cut. So I just hit Control X three, and I made a vertical cut, and then I can switch between uh, buffers by hitting Control X B, and then it offers me whether I want to switch to the default scratch buffer, and I hit Enter. And now I'm in the scratch buffer right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control X, Control B, and now in the other window I saw the list of buffers. I'm going to uh, close this window by hitting Control X zero. I'm in the big buffer list. Now I'm going to hit uh, Control X B and switch to temp underscore two CPP. Let's switch buffer one more time. Let's hit Control X B. Um, let's go to the buffer list. I'm going to hit Enter here. Now here I go on to Messages buffer and hit Enter again. Now it's going to switch to Messages buffer. As you can see, this is the Messages buffer. <laughs> In Emacs, we can use Control S to go into the search mode, and it's a dynamic mode, so as you type, it will just highlight the terms that it finds. Beware that slash N is not new line, it's Control J. So let's search for window. I just highlighted the window. Um, let's search for dot new line, and as you can see, um, I'm just going from one occurrence to the other by hitting Control S. Control S um, just finds the next occurrence. And if you're at the end of the buffer, Control S will just wrap around. You can always hit Control G to quit the search and return where you were. Command Control S will take us to the regular expression search. Uh, I just searched for the numbers between 0 and 2. As you can see, it found the number 0 and 2, but not 3. Uh, again, just as in the regular search, Control S will take you to the next occurrence. And if you're at the end of the buffer, it will just take you to the top of the buffer. Um, and uh, Control G will quit. Command percentage sign is the find and replace command. Um, let's replace will with want. As you see, it replaced zero occurrences because we're at the end of the buffer. So we have to go to the top of the buffer. Let's do again command percentage. It's asking, every time it asks, I just hit yes. Now let's replace want with wills. Uh, let's go to the top of the buffer again. Let's hit uh, command percentage. And then this time let's hit exclamation mark and it will replace them all. As you can see, it said replace all four occurrences. Command SO uh, takes us into the, the occurrence mode where it opens a new window and it shows all the occurrences. And we can go to that window and then just click or enter on the lines and we can just go to those lines. Uh, this, is, this tidies up the search really, really well. While we're talking about all these searches, it's uh, important to talk about command X grep, which grabs a pattern in the files that you specify 
and shows the results in a grep window, just as it was with the occurrence mode. Um, and the great thing about this is that you can just enter on that file and it will take you to the file. Now I'm searching for is in my directory in the text files. And uh, we get a list of all the text files that have the term uh, is in it. And I go to the other window and hit on 3.txt and it shows me 3.txt. Uh, one last command is command xrgrep which is a recursive grep and it searches for all the files and all the subdirectories under a directory. Let's invoke it. Let's type is, we're searching for is, let's type star star and hit enter. As you see, we, it just shows us every single line with is on it. Well, thank you for watching. I have the text file that we built in here as a reference under the video and have a wonderful day.